the United States. Brand new reaction now from the acting ICE director today, calling out the mayor of a sanctuary city for warning residents ahead of time about upcoming ICE raids by the feds. Here's Thomas Homan from a bit earlier today. What she did is no better than a, you know, a gang lookout yelling police when a, when, a, uh, when a police cruiser comes in the neighborhood, except she did it to the entire community. I mean, it's beyond the pale. I've been, I've been doing this for 34 years, and this is a whole new low to intentionally warn criminals that law enforcement's coming. What she did is intentionally put law enforcement officers at risk. So despite the mayor's warning, ICE agents arrest more than 150 in weekend raids. And Claudia Cowan, she was along for the ride live in Oakland, California now. Claudia, good morning. And good morning, Bill. It was an eye-opening assignment to see how these ICE officers enforce the law. We got to ride along and see these raids unfold over a period of several days. These arrests mostly happened at the fugitives' homes since sanctuary laws prevent ICE officers from detaining criminal illegal immigrants at the jail. And as you mentioned, more than 150 people were arrested since the raids began early Sunday. Now, in addition to breaking the law by being here illegally, about half of those arrested have criminal convictions, including 38-year-old Armando Nuez Salgado, a known gang member and multiple felon who had been deported four times before. We saw him get arrested in sun, uh, on Sunday in Napa. Speaking exclusively to Fox News, the head of ICE's enforcement and removal blasted Oakland Mayor Libby Schaff, saying her decision to publicly announce the raids on Saturday and suggest targeted illegal immigrants refuse to cooperate, put lives at risk. We have officers that are sworn law enforcement officers, federal law enforcement officers, upholding the Constitution and the oaths that they took. And we have a politician that's going to try to score cheap political points on the backs of the men and women of ICE, and that's unconscionable. Many decisions that I make uh, have risks and rewards. Uh, I do not regret sharing this information. I felt that it was my duty to share the information I had. In fact, she doubled down, offering a tip line for immigrants who need legal assistance and saying, quote, our community is safer when families stay together. But the Department of Justice is now looking into whether she violated any laws. Meantime, these raids do continue. There will be more arrests, but ICE officials say nearly 900 fugitives remain at large. Bill, they say many of them probably eluded capture because of the mayor's warning. Back From Oakland, you. Claudia Cowan. Thank you, Claudia. For more, here's Sam. For more on all this ongoing battle between ICE and sanctuary cities, let's bring in our panel, Brad Blakeman, former deputy assistant to President George W. Bush and radio talk show host Richard Fowler. Thomas Holman, really adamant as we continued to hear him speak out on this after these raids took place, uh, calling that mayor reckless and uh, basing her agenda on her own political agenda and beliefs. Brad? Criminal. I think she should be uh, made an example of. I think she should be uh, brought up on charges of interfering with a federal investigation and police work. Uh, she said risk and reward. Is it worth risking the lives of law enforcement officers by tipping them off so that the, uh, now illegals who are the subject of their raids perhaps can use violence against officers? Is that what she wants to live with? We can't have this in America. We don't pick and choose laws that we want to obey. And she's held to a higher standard than a normal citizen because she's a public official and she's sworn to uphold the law. I say we need to start locking these public officials up and let the courts decide whether or not their actions are justifiable. Richard, how by doing this did she not put those ICE officers, to, to Thomas Holman's point, at risk? Put their safety at risk? Put other residents of Oakland at risk? Roughly half of those arrested by these officers have convictions for assault and battery crimes against children, weapons charges, DUI, among other things. Well, number one, I think if you're a criminal in this country uh, and you've committed a felony, uh, a, a felony like you're like you're like you're describing there, Sandra, then you should be deported from this country. Period. Now, with that being said, this bl this bluster and language that we're hearing from Brad is part of the problem. What we have right now is a broken immigration system, and all parties can agree on that. And how we fix it is by bringing both parties to the table. And when you have bluster, like we're hearing from Brad, what you do no, is you, you, dis you dis no, you dissuade you dissuade you, have to the you laws. dissuade one group of individuals from coming to the table. Now, let's be very clear. This 
mayor has control of her city. She has the ability to tell the police and the jails what to do in her city, and that is federal no, law. Not talking about what yeah, she actually she, she right, actually Brad, does. Talking, the Supreme Court's ruled on that already. Brad, there's results <laughs> of the actions that she took, and 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 Thomas Holman is making it very clear. We have to do our job, and our jaws, job is law and order, to follow the law and practice the law and have it play out in that city. It, it, it does not, and what it does is it sends a, a message to criminals that they are protected, they're a protected class, and they put the, at risk citizens, Americans. And Richard's wrong. The, the mayor does not have absolute authority. Uh, she is also bound by the law. That's not Richard. what I said. That's and, not what I said, Brad. No, but I'm telling you, she may. Those think are alternative she facts. Has the mean, this mayor. She she may think she has the authority to to interfere in federal law, and she does not. No, and that's, that's not. That is not what I. That is of. that is not what I said. What she has the authority over is her police department. She has authority of whore jails, and she has authority of what they do. The Supreme not Court ruled on that. With the federal government. That is actually law. incorrect. The, it, that the Supreme mm -hmm. Court has the Supreme Court has ruled very clearly that a mayor of at no point in time can the federal government tell a local police department or a local mayor what to do with her law enforcement. That okay. would be tyranny and against the, no, the against went, our constitution and yeah. against federalism. She interfered with law enforcement by tipping she the law. She did not. Okay. Absolutely. All right. So That's an alternative huge fact, debate Brad. being had there clearly as we continue to hear from ICE speaking out of that and the mayor clearly having no regrets over her actions there. I want to move on to this because the DOJ is launching this uh, fire